Hey guys, this is Laurel with the weekly forecast and I'm going to be doing something a little bit different today. My son decided he wanted to take a break that he said he wants to freshen up his skills for you guys. So next time he comes on, I'm going to try and have him do the whole reading. But in the meantime, let's go ahead and get started. This week, we will be working with Archangel Raphael and Michael. And how it works is before I do the reading, they gave me the cards to pull. They told me the messages. They wanted to set up the scenario for everyone. Now, Michael pulled this card and this one was Raphael's. And this is the beginning, middle, and end of the week. So let's go ahead and start with Michael's card. Forgive yourself. You've done nothing wrong. I ask that you help me let go of self-blame and forgive myself. Please guide me in releasing any toxic anger or fear towards others. Thank you, Archangel Michael, for allowing me to feel centered and at peace. So the main message we get is about letting go, forgiving yourself, forgiving other people. Sometimes this could be about forgiving ourselves for the choices that we made or we didn't do what we thought we should do, you know, or missing a chance that came up. But what the angels always say and what Michael is saying, chances and situations always come back around. Opportunities always come back around. And Michael is giving a special message for someone watching that has missed a loved one or a pet, that they love you and want you to know that they're still with you. Okay, so that message came through, and Michael said that departed people are never far away, and he said that he's going to write a book with me on this topic. So, okay, that's news to me, guys. Sometimes stuff just pops out that I'm, th this is uh, something new to me, so this may happen within the next year or two. Okay, Michael. Now, let's see, what is Raphael's card? This is our other theme card. We have Yang. And this is about bringing masculine energy into um, this upcoming week. So that it may be that you bring more motivation into your life. So th this is where Michael and Raphael are telling me they want to do a motivational prayer. So we're just going to, you can put your hand over your heart, close your eyes, whatever you'd like to do. We're asking the guardian angels to place us in a protective shield of light and bringing in Raphael and Michael now, and we're asking them to bring in the yang energy, masculine energy, motivation for this upcoming week, to do what we say we're going to do, to follow through on things that we know that we should do for ourselves and for other people. Bring in that yang energy to accomplish things, okay? The energy of accomplishment is coming here, okay? I do get about planning out the week also like writing out your to-do list okay this is the main three things i'm going to accomplish and achieve or you may want to do it for every day of the week it's up to you now let's go for monday um we have between worlds now i also heard archangel michael say you may want to work with crystals related to the chakra so for people that might, that are into Reiki and healing, you may want to work with balancing out your, your chakra and using crystals that appeal to you for that, okay? Uh, Michael is giving the color gold. Um, he's also saying citrine. So for the, the crystal people, Michael is giving those for you to work with if you would like to do that, okay? Between worlds, so what I get is this card could be for someone who is trying to live a physical experience, but they're, they're stuck in the spirit world. They're living too much in a spirit world, okay? It could also be the opposite, where someone is just seeing this video for the first time and they're too much in the physical world and having a hard time getting in touch with angels, guides, or even understanding what this all means. What I'm getting is 
it's time to get grounded. It's time to not focus so much on what is wrong or what's right or trying to push or force. I'm getting that sometimes we need that more of a balance. You're, it, you're on one side or the other. What side are you really on right now? Okay. What I'm getting is you want to stay in the middle, balance out your week. And tr if for the people that are too much in the spirit world and not enough in the physical, you need to do activity, do physical exercise, dancing, movement, motion. Get out and be more grounded in the physical world. Okay, so there's they are saying there is a theme here about being grounded. It is very important. So for the middle of the week, we have truth be told. So sometimes this this card is um, is about you know facing the truth in a situation or really understanding someone else's perspective as well. I do get. Let me just focus on this. What do the angels want to say? They're saying that the owl represents the eyes of the soul. And sometimes the owl is about seeing all sides of a perspective, being open, opening your heart. I do see they want me to point out there's these little hearts in there. That the little hearts is could also be about relationships and things like that. Opening yourself up and understanding that, you know... Maybe the way that I I want things to be in a relationship isn't the way that it's happening. So what could I do to readjust myself, my mind, and my soul so that things are more prosperous for me? Truth be told, what's the reality of the situation? Okay, and then for the end of the week, we have, what is this one? New life. Okay, new life means new beginnings, th starting over, opening up to new, you know, this, this card is about what they wanted in the beginning about, you know, the motivation, bringing that masculine, that more masculine energy out, getting things done, you know, moving through the week, taking charge, but it's in reverse. So this means there's still a little bit of hiccups in life, but it feels like there are opportunities that are still coming um, it feels like someone wants a new life. They want to change. They want something better. But until they face this issue right here, being in between worlds, they're going to be going back and forth. You know, it kind of feels like just going back and forth. I want a new life. I, what's the truth of the situation until they face what's going on here, which could be about balance. It could be about setting boundaries. Um, I am getting again. So for the people, this may not re resonate with everyone. For the people that are very sensitive and they're, again, very in touch with their angels, their guides, spirits, departed people, and they're too, so connected that they're not, it kind of feels like they're not quite living in reality it may be that they need to stop and see what do I need to change so that my life is more balanced. Now, some other meanings for Between Worlds is about change and transitions, not being quite out of one situation and fully engaged in another, temporary blindness, no man's land. So that's a little bit of the meaning of the book. Between the worlds is where you must let go of the tendency to make assumptions. This is a time when you are unable to see what is ahead. Cur cultivate curiosity and trust the process of change and growth. You are done learning the lessons of recent experiences in this place between what was and what will be is a state of making and unmaking and making again. What is essential now is to admit not knowing. There is great freedom and power that is being unleashed. A mystery that is not yours to understand weaves the web of life. I get also that this could be about not trying to control where your future is heading. Okay? Not trying to control... What's going to happen, who you're going to be with, where your life is going to go, follow, follow 
spirit, source, or whatever you connect with. So now, for truth be told, I'm giving some of the meanings of the cards also, okay? Honesty, accepting things at face value, coming out of denial, the willingness to be transparent, clarity of communication. There is the truth, which is the essence of the thing, and then there is the truth subjective according to the philosophy of the believer. What I'm getting is, it's. I feel like there's something where someone may be in denial or they're not seeing everything or they're, maybe they're like, and I'm going back to the meaning of the card. It says, this is not a time to debate about which truth is right. This is a time when you are called to proclaim your truth out loud and be willing to be transparent, honest, and open in your communication with others and with yourself. Okay. Now for the a new life one, this is a little bit, this is the protection message. So this is the reverse. So I'm, this is a little bit of the meaning. It says, you must acknowledge your inexperience and gently allow yourself to be like the delicate new bud opening. It's okay to admit you may not know something. You are at the beginning of things and haven't yet hit your stride. Be immersed in the newness of it all and don't try to rush the learning process. New life has its own timetable for maturity. Be here now. Life loves you. So that's the other message that I get with this is that you may not know what you're doing. You may be messing up. There may be something where you feel like you're tripping and falling, but yet change is coming. You're, it's like success is not a straight climb up. There's a lot of hills and valleys. There's a lot of ups and downs. And now I'm just going to see what else does Raphael and Michael want to say. They're saying that they love everyone that is watching to please believe in themselves and trust that their purpose is needed. Okay, so whatever you're doing, you don't have to be a reader. You don't have to be someone on the spiritual path. Whatever you are doing and currently in your life, or even if you're lost and you're just going around in circles, Michael is saying that he wants you to reach out to him personally every day and ask for that help that he is always there. He said he is accessible to everyone and everything. 